Hi, I'm Dr. Ritakshi and today in this video I'll talk about one of the most common and very popular topic in nutrition these days which is our probiotics and prebiotics. Now they both sound very similar but they have different roles in our gut health. So let's go on and learn about probiotics and prebiotics. So, in our world of health and nutrition, the biggest uh, topic that we talk about is gut health and the first thing that comes in our minds are probiotics and prebiotics. But do you really know what role they play to keep our gut healthy? Let's talk about this. So, whenever we have any gastrointestinal issues, it's usually because we don't have the right levels of good bacteria in our digestive system. Yes, there are two types of bacteria. We do have good bacteria and bad bacteria. So the good bacteria is usually the ones that are in our digestive tracts and in our gut system called as gut flora. So probiotics are our beneficial bacteria and prebiotics are the food for these bacteria. Both prebiotics and probiotics have their own roles in helping us maintain a good gut health. Now, probiotics are living strains of bacteria and they are beneficial bacteria, which adds to the population of pre-existing good bacteria. And prebiotics are usually insoluble fibers that our body cannot digest, but they act as a food source for the good bacteria. And this also stimulates growth of the pre-existing good bacteria. So probiotics and prebiotics together each have their own role in keeping our gut health good. Now the good bacteria in our gut usually helps us lower the inflammation and it helps fight harmful infections as well. So probiotics have the ability to restore the good bacteria or keep a balance of good bacteria in our gut. And so what happens is that if there is an imbalance, that means that we have more of bad bacteria than the good bacteria. And this usually happens when we are sick. So if there is an illness or when we take medication, especially antibiotics, or if we consume a poor diet. So what are the consequences of these? Then we usually have some digestive issues like bloated or constipation, or we'll have some allergies. Probiotics can also prevent or reduce the severity of diarrhea. Now, diarrhea is usually a very common side effect of take antibiotics. And whenever we take antibiotics, so our gut is usually negatively uh, affected and we have more of bad bacteria than the good bacteria. And this imbalance can cause diarrhea. Furthermore, probiotics can also reduce symptoms of certain digestive disorders and these would include ulcerative colitis or um, IBS, inflammatory bowel syndrome. Probiotics may help boost our immune system. Some probiotics have shown to promote the growth of antibodies in our body and these are usually by boosting the immune cells production such as the cells of um, immunoglobin A, T lymphocytes and natural killer cells. Research shows that taking probiotics can also help the symptoms of some mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety, and stress. The food we eat makes all the difference in maintaining the balance between good bacteria and bad bacteria. Now, for example, if we consume a high fat and high sugar diet, that means there will be more of bad bacteria and our good bacteria will be disadvantaged and there will be less of that. Now, once we feed the bad bacteria, they colonize very fast and they take over our good bacteria. Moving on, let's talk about the sources of prebiotics and probiotics. So we know that yes, we can always buy supplements for them, but they can usually be a little expensive and obviously natural is better. 
So what are some of the natural foods that contain prebiotics and probiotics? Let's start with prebiotics. Prebiotics are fibers that are usually found in vegetables, fruits, and liquids. Now, these fibers, as humans, we cannot digest them, but they are a food source for the good bacteria and they use it for growth. Foods that are probiotic fiber rich include bananas, onions, garlic, leeks, asparagus, beans, um, peas, oats, and berries. So some of the probiotic sources are kefir, could be non-dairy or dairy. We can have kimchi, we can have sauerkraut, we can have miso soup, we can have kombucha tea, and we can have some pickled vegetables or pickles. Now, whenever we have pickled vegetables or pickles, we have to make sure that to get the probiotic effect, they should be unpasteurized because once they're pasteurized, they will lose the effect of probiotic. So when you eat fermented foods, make sure that they are unpasteurized because in pasteurization, we usually lose the good bacteria and then it has no probiotic benefits. There are also some foods that are called synbiotic, which means that they have probiotic effect and have prebiotic effect as well. And these could be sources like cheese, kefir, and sauerkraut. In conclusion, we must maintain a balance of our gut bacteria. We will achieve this by eating plenty of foods that are both rich in probiotics and prebiotics. And once we do that, that means we will have an ideal balance of good bacteria and bad bacteria in our gut. So maintaining a balance between the good and the bad bacteria in our gut, this will eventually lead to an overall good health as it will increase our immune functions and give, give less of digestive issues. But we need to make sure that we don't go overboard with anything because if we have too much of anything, then that will also cause a negative effect on us. So make sure whenever you take a supplement, then you read how much of probiotics and prebiotics it contains. And you can talk to your doctor or your nutritionist about what the right amount for you. So this was all about prebiotics and probiotics and how to keep a balance to maintain a good gut health. I hope this was a helpful video so that if there was any confusion, it's all clear by now. So please like this video if you found this helpful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if for more content like this and press the bell notification icon so you know whenever I post a video. Thank you so much. Bye. See you.